Greetings, my friends. I apologize for the long delay in getting back with you, and uh, maybe a little bit before I can get back with you again, but I wanted to share with you a little information of what's going on. Uh, those of you that know me a little bit more intimately realize that I am a writer. Uh, I am working on a book called Yam Suf, and this book is a fascinating book. It's about uh, the Exodus story and the things as you watch some of my videos that God has revealed to me about that. Uh, how Moses alluded to a second exodus. I also go into the fact that, uh, as well, that uh, there's a third exodus that the children of Israel go through uh, in the, in the not-so-distant future. In this book, though, it is, as a good friend of mine says, Gary Skagibo, a good brother in the Lord, um, he says that God has gifted me with connecting the dot for my Jewish brethren. Uh, some of the other videos that you've watched on here, uh, such as Moses striking the rock, the, the broken relationship in the Garden of Eden, and how the rock, and all this ties in together. But I wanted to reach out to you, something I don't normally do, and ask your help. We need help in getting this book into print. Um, uh, Jim at uh, Faithful Life Publishers uh, is our publishing company, and but we're wanting to get this book out in print, not only just for the Christian people, but for the translation work to do the book in Hebrew. And I'm going to share with you something that is in the book uh, that I've not shared before, something that God revealed to me recently that I think will be a blessing to you, and you may understand why that there is such a desire to get this book to the Jewish people, uh, both whether they be in Israel or whether they be in the United States. And this thought that the Lord revealed to my heart is why did Moses, when writing the Levitical law, why did God give him uh, the command to for the two goats? One would be a scapegoat, and the other would be the one that would be offered as a sacrifice for the sins of Israel. And this is something, as I'm dealing with the story of Joseph, I introduce into this book, and a fascinating insight on it, and that is the story of Joseph in itself is what Start, is what basically we might say brought this law into effect that Moses gave, where once a year they would bring forth two goats and the sins of Israel would be confessed on the one goat. They would the, the, the priest would lay his hands on the one goat. That goat then would be taken by a strong man out into the wilderness and would be set free, bearing the sins and the iniquities of Israel far away. The other goat, though, would be sacrificed for the sins of Israel. Uh, as the sacrifice itself. The, I believe that the reason, the origin of the, this law here begins with the story of Joseph. And of course, Joseph is a beautiful type of the story of Jesus himself, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, uh, Mashiach ben David. But what we see in the story of Joseph is that Joseph, when he is being um, they were going to kill him, his brother wanted to kill him, but they take and they sell him out instead and he is then taken by the Ishmaelites down into Egypt. And in that case, Joseph is a type of the scapegoat. He is bearing the sins and the iniquities of his brethren, and he bears it within his bosom, and he takes that sin far away from their father's knowledge and from his eyes. He hides that sin on their behalf. Now, when they offered up the goat, and they, not that they were doing it as an offering per se, but they kill a goat to try to thinking they're going to hide their sins, and they put that blood on his coat of many colors. And they take it back to his father, supposing that he is dead, making his father to believe that he has actually died, when in fact, I believe that God took that very blood that they put on that coat and accepted it as the blood sacrifice for their sins. What they thought they were doing, what they thought was was being evil to cover up and hide it. They take that blood and they kill that goat, that innocent goat, and they bring it to their father to show that he's dead. And Joseph, though, hiding the sins and the iniquities from their father, bores them far away. Now, interesting enough, though, in type, we find the same thing with Jesus, the story of Jesus. But in Jesus' case, he played both the sacrificial lamb, the, the goat was, that was sacrificed and killed, and as well, he bore the sins and iniquity because he had the ability to lay his life down and he said he had the ability to raise it up again. So therefore, he carried those sins and iniquities far away. And thus, we find that beautiful analogy. And this is why Moses, when God gave him the Levitical law, 
this is what that Levitical law was given for. It was to show a type of the story of Joseph and show the type of Jesus Christ when he would come, that he would bear the sins and iniquities of Israel and he would carry it far away. No wonder why when he was on the cross dying and he said, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. He was bearing that iniquity. He was bearing their sins far away that they might retain, that they might have mercy. God bless you. If you're able, um, I'm just, I just ask humbly. And please, it, your prayers I covet more than financial. I really covet them. And I'm not a person to dun anybody for money. But if you feel in your heart that you would like to see this type of insights be brought to the Jewish people, I have quite a few friends that are really feeling passionate that God is going to reach out to the Jewish people through this book called Yom Suf. Um, not for sure all what we're going to have on the cover of the book, but it'll be something about Moses alluding to a, a second exodus and as well as the insights that reach out to the Jewish heart uh, from a Jewish perspective, from being that I was born Jewish. And um, I, I would like to just reach out uh, an invitation to you. Uh, I'll have on the screen there you could send a, a check or a money order, whatever you would, would feel le led in your heart. And, and believe me, don't feel embarrassed. I don't care if it's a dollar. Every dollar would help that we could get this out because I feel so passionate in my heart to get this translated both in the Hebrew language. Eventually, if the Lord grants the, the finances to do it, I'd like to see it in Russian and Spanish as well. We have a Spanish translator. Um, although I do understand Hebrew, I could not be the one to translate the Hebrew. I'm not, uh, I understand Hebrew very well, but I need the qualified person to do that. We also want to make it available in ebook format because there's so many people reading that way nowadays. And we just really want to be a true true blessing to, to Israel in every way we can. I know there's a lot of other qualified people out there uh, that, that are great writers, great speakers that are reaching out to the Jewish people. But we want to do our part in what we can. God bless you and thank you so much for giving. And we appreciate that. On our website, IsraelReturns.com, we should have up very soon to where we'll have a PayPal where you can click on there and you can give as well. And we thank you as well for helping us to reach out to my Jewish people and getting the gospel of Jesus Christ to them.